OSPF, or Open Shortest Path First, is a routing protocol that we consider to be an interior gateway protocol, which means that it's generally used inside a single autonomous system. It's also a routing protocol that is generally a link state protocol, which means the cost of the routing is determined between routers. And each link that we would connect into our network has a cost associated with it. OSPF also looks at throughput, reliability, round trip time to make its decisions about whether it sends a packet out one direction or out another direction. In the case of OSPF, the lowest cost and the fastest path is going to win. And if there are identical costs to a location, OSPF will load balance that information over those links. OSPF is also a dynamic routing protocol, which means if anything changes, the routing table will be updated automatically. So if things happen like a network link goes down, OSPF will figure out the best way around that connection and send traffic another direction, usually within seconds. OSPF very well known for its very low convergence times. In OSPF, we group together different parts of the network and those routers into something called areas. And there is one default area called Area 0. And if you're configuring or looking at an OSPF network, you will probably find Area 0 somewhere in there. Each area keeps its own database of link states, which means it's a very flexible environment to work with. If you're in a very, very large organization, you often use OSPF because it does give you this flexibility. It's very common to see that in an enterprise network. This makes OSPF a very capable protocol. Not only are we using it on these very, very large networks, but OSPF itself is designed for very fast convergence. If a network link goes down or a link comes back up again, OSPF tends to make its decisions about whether it's sending traffic over those links very, very quickly. So if there are any changes going on, you can minimize the amount of downtime you might have. OSPF is also very good at doing load balancing. So if there are those equal costs out to a location, you can take advantage of all of your bandwidth and load that link up between both of those connections so that it's shared all the way through to that location. That makes OSPF very, very good for large environments. And it also takes advantage and is the most efficient that it can be for using our network resources.